Ah, uh, Harrison Ford. Whether he's cracking a whip as Indiana Jones, soaring through space as Han Solo, or navigating Tokyo's lively nightlife hawking Japanese beer, he's an actor who continues to surprise us. Welcome to Crazy for Beer, a channel that is all about beer. In this video we cover Harrison Ford made Japanese beer ads in the 90s. Wait, did you just do a double take at that last bit? Yes, you heard correctly. In what might be considered a baffling crossover episode in the realm of advertising, our dear Mr. Mr. Ford took to the screens of Japan in the 1990s, not to battle space invaders or search for holy relics, but to promote, of all things, beer. And, if you haven't already been privy to these delightful snippets of comedic gold, strap in. This isn't just any regular Tuesday for our Hollywood hero. Here is the pint-sized backstory. Now, before we plunge into the foamy depths of these commercials, a smidge of context is helpful. Japan has a long-standing tradition of roping in Hollywood's finest to star in commercials that, to Western eyes, might seem a tad eccentric. From cinematic legends like Francis Ford Coppola swapping notes with renowned Japanese directors over a glass of whiskey, to action hero Charles Bronson promoting male grooming essentials, Japan has a knack for casting familiar faces in unfamiliar scenarios. Ford's foray into frothy waters. Enter Harrison Ford in the prime of his career. Fresh from iconic roles in Star Wars and Indiana Jones, Ford's face was as recognizable as the golden arches of McDonald's. So why not use that fame to promote one of Japan's most traditional beer brands, Kirin Lager. Seems logical enough. The first advertisement is relatively tame. Picture Ford in a conventional Japanese eatery, standing out like a sore thumb in his Western attire. With near flawless Japanese, he orders a beer. To the casual observer, it might seem like Ford was channeling his inner tourist. Subsequent commercials ramp up the cork factor. We witness Ford, sunbathing on a picturesque Japanese beach, hassling a local vendor for not just a beer, but also a bottle opener and glass. All this unfolds to the backdrop of, get this, a marching band and soundtrack. Another gem features our intrepid adventurer lost in the woods, perhaps searching for the Temple of Kirin. When he's reunited with his buddies, their main concern, the location of the beer, of course. However, the piece de resistance is a scene that could only be conjured in the fever dream of a Japanese ad executive. Picture a sauna, steam rises, and there, amidst the mist, is a shirtless Harrison Ford lamenting the absence of a cold beer. In steps another patron, offering not a tangible beer, but an imaginary one, complete with sound effects. This hilarious pantomime of two grown men, parched and desperate, savoring the mirage of an ice cold cold brew is nothing short of advertising genius. Why do we love it? At first glance, these commercials seem like the result of someone playing Mad Libs with Ford's filmography. Yet, there's an undeniable charm to them. The fusion of Japan's offbeat advertising style with Ford's raw magnetism creates a whirlwind of hilarity. Japanese commercials have historically been a playground of wackiness. Their flavor of humor, brimming with surreal antics and over-the-top scenarios, can be a touch baffling to Western viewers. However, throw in a familiar face like Ford, place him in these wildly unexpected settings, and suddenly the ridiculous becomes sublime. But perhaps the real magic ingredient here is Ford himself. Known for his on-screen gravitas, it's a hoot to see him let his hair down, metaphorically, of course, his actual hair remains perfect. It's close to spotting your stern mathematics teacher busting a move at the local disco, unexpected, slightly surreal, but wholly entertaining, a toast to the unexpected. In a world that often takes itself too seriously, these commercials are a fizzy refreshment. They remind us that sometimes, it's fun to embrace the odd, the quirky, the utterly nonsensical. If Harrison Ford can navigate the peculiar world of Japanese beer commercials with poise and a touch of thirsty desperation, Perhaps there's a lesson for all of us. So, the next time life offers you an imaginary beer in a steamy sauna, take a leaf out of Ford's book, go with the flow, savor the absurdity, and always remember to hydrate. Cheers! What is your take on the great Harrison Ford making Japanese beer ads? Let us know in the comments. If you are crazy for beer, be sure to check out the links in the description for our line of beer merch and other beer-related stuff.